Yo, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you guys how to edit your Road to the Show and franchise rosters. Let's say you want to start a franchise or a Road to the Show and you want to know how to edit the rosters. Let's say there's a guy in there, like let's say Mike Trout, you feel like he's underrated. They rated his fielding very low or they rated his contact very low or power very low or a pitcher that you think is much better than he is or much worse or somebody has more potential than you think. MLB the show is giving them credit for I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so the first thing you want to do is go to the right corner top right corner into settings no actually top right corner into create you're gonna want to press create go to roster control you want to make sure the rosters that you have right now are the rosters that you are going to use for your for your franchise or your road to the show what I mean by that is go into settings go into file management load in whatever rosters you're going to use i'm also do a video on how to download rosters from the vault if you guys don't know how to do that i loaded in the rosters that i'm gonna use the rosters that you download from the vault now you want to go to create roster control you want to edit player now these players that you're going to edit this is from the rosters that you loaded that's why i said load in the rosters that you want because if you edit it and you end up editing a different rosters it's not gonna it's not going to correspond with what you did. So I'm gonna go to my favorite team, the Mets, and I'm going to do a little edit, let's say on Verlander. I'm going to lower his, his potential, let's lower it to like 70. And then let's lower, this is not because I think Verlander has a 70 potential, just to show you guys like an example. So I'm gonna lower his stamina, I'm gonna lower his pitching clutch, I'm gonna lower his hit per nine, I'm gonna lower his home run per nine, BB per nine, and K per nine. Now I'm gonna hit a set. Now I'm gonna go to a different team to show you a different scenario. And as you can see, Justin Verlander now is a 74 overall with C potential. Shohei Otani. Once you're done doing the edits that you want to do, you're going to go back, voice crack, you're going to go back, circle, or I don't know what it is on Xbox, XYZ, whatever it is, but it's going to say if your rosters have changed, which they did because you just edited them, please go to file management, save, and save your rosters to keep your changes. So what they mean by that is go right here, save rosters, save custom rosters. Yes, I saved it. Okay. So also another thing I'm going to show you guys is in this screen, you can also do other things like let's say... I also forgot to mention that you could edit lineups, the pitching rotation, and you can manage the roster too. And you can also import players that you made. You want to do, for whatever reason, you want to send Aaron Judge to Boston and Chris Hill to New York. You can also do this as well. So I'm going to do that just to show you guys an example. So Garrett Cole for Canley Jansen, Nestor Cortez for Rafael Devers. And what I'm going to do now, did I accept the rosters? I think I did it. Yeah, you got to make sure you accept the rosters. So I'm going to do that again. Bam, bam, bam. Send the rosters. Send the player over to the other team. Now I press circle. Accept roster changes. Yes. Now what it's going to say here is you're going to have an X on the lineup and rotation. That means that the lineups and the rotations aren't set. For the sake of this video, I want to get it done quickly so that you guys, you know, your attention span is probably through the roof because of TikTok. I don't want you guys to click out of this video. So I'm going to just skip this by pressing square pressing square and it automatically is going to do it for me now you want to go over all the teams make sure everything's okay no x's once there's no x's you're going to go back updating rosters now you made another change that means you're going to have to save the rosters again and save it onto that save file that you just did before so save custom rosters and you're going to want to override it by override it is just save save this file onto the last file so that you have just that file so now once you set up your rosters the way you want to, you know, you edit key players that you wanted to edit. I'm going to go into franchise, start new, load save rosters. Now you're gonna, you, what you're going to do is you're going to choose the rosters that you just edited. Now I'm going to pick the Mets and I'm going to pick the Yankees and the Red Sox just so I could show you guys that the changes went through. And now if you go to the rosters, you're going to see that Aaron Judge is on the Red Sox. Garrett Cole is on the... Red Sox and Nestor Cortez is on the Red Sox and then Rodon is on the Yankees. Well, that's normally how it is. Sale is on the Yankees. Jansen is on the Yankees and Devers is on the Yankees. And then for the Mets, the edit that we did, where is he? Right here. Verlander right there. The edit that we did is right there. We go to the Angels. Same thing. Shohei Otani. Overall is low. 
and the B potential is on there just as we did it. So that's like if you guys ever want to edit something, you're about to start a franchise like, oh, I feel like this person should actually be this overall. Then you could do stuff like that right before you start the roster. But if you started your franchise and you started your road to the show, you would not be able to do it because the rosters are already made. You're already playing. It's already a saved file. It would be cool if you could export rosters in the future. I feel like MLB The Show should do that in the future. Let's say let's say I'm very far into my road to the show. I'm in year 2030, and I want to take out this rosters as here just so I could save it and have it like in a franchise or something just so that I could like start from that year. That would be pretty cool if you could do that. But that's how you do it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. I am also do other tutorial videos, so keep a lookout for that. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. Yeah.